In this video, we will see how to do insertion sort on the elements in a singly linked list. So insertion sort is a very natural way of doing uh, sorting. So you have, let's say, a number of cards. Let's say you have uh, 2, 4, 3, 1. So first one is already sorted. So you can think of them as a cards, cards having numbers, and you have to arrange them in your hand. So you will see that 4 is more than 2, so it's in correct position. Then you come here, you see that 3 is less than 4 and more than 2. So you put 3 here between 2 and 4. Now it becomes 2, 3, 4, 1. Then you look at 1. You see that 4 is more, 3 is more, 2 is more. So 1 should come here. So you put 1 here. Now it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. So you start from first element. In fact, second element, first is already sorted and if this is current element then before this everything is sorted and you want to put this current at correct position and so after each step we are making progress by one step one more element is sorted so we will do it n times and searching can take o of k times if we are at the kth step so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way up to n or n minus 1 it doesn't matter so time is of the order of n square and space o of 1 we will just keep track of a few uh, node pointers to keep track of the current node previous node and also uh, beginning of the list so how we can do it in the list again it's uh, very simple let's take an example Let's say we have 3, 2, uh, 1, 4 and uh, make them a linked list. So next of 3 is 2, 1, 4 and null and we are given the head pointer. So this is already sorted. Next, so we initialize current to this one and previous here, previous is null so you can create a dummy node and make its next point to head so that way previous will also be valid always and this will also denote that we have to search after previous so current is sorted so what we do we look at next of current if next of current is more than current so if next is more than current then do nothing we don't have to do anything this till this point it's sorted next of current is also more so till this point it's sorted so nothing to be done here just current equal to current next else that is next is less it should be less and not equal to i think the elements are unique uh, so if next is less next is less than current then it means uh, it's not sorted because next should be more so we will find the correct position for next so let me draw in yellow so we have to insert this next at correct position before current because next is uh, less than current so current is more than next so there are a few elements here current is here next is here and next is or current is more than next so we start from here we check if it's more than next we insert before it if it's less than next we look for next one next one so till these are less than next we keep searching once we find an element which is more than next we insert next before that and what we will need to insert that so there is this element its next is this one so we cast this element and we change this next pointer to point to this n and its next point to this one so if the moment we change this next pointer we lose track of this one that's why we cast it into some temp node and we will see all of this in the code then we can change this to next also 
some some node will be next of next so this now is gone here so this should point here the next of current so current next should be equal to current next next and then the next of this one should point to this one so these three pointer exchanges are required and we will call it start because that is the place where search will start so this is the dummy node start and its next is head and we initialize previous to start and current to head and we start searching after previous and once we find it previous is here so till previous uh, previous next is less than current next current next is nothing but the node to be inserted previous equal to previous next so we keep incrementing previous so when previous is here previous next is this one and we are inserting between previous and previous next and once we have inserted we reset previous to beginning so that next time also we search from beginning and not from here so list node start equal to new list node and its next equal to head also current is initialized to head and previous is initialized to start and while current is there if current next So if current next is less than current then only we need to insert so this is the main insertion step in the insertion sort else we don't need to do anything it's already in the correct order so just increment current now let's fill this insertion step this is the main part so we need to find the correct position for this current next so remember that uh, previous is here so we will be comparing always next of previous to this current next and if it's less we keep incrementing and once next of previous is more we know that we need to insert this current next after previous so this thing between previous and previous next we have to insert this current next and now when this loop terminates we have found the correct place for current next which is between previous and previous next so let's do the pointer exchanges so we save this this node previous next into a temporary variable because this next we will be updating to current next now we can change this pointer uh, so this previous next is current next and current next should be current next next this thing so this now is gone so this current next should be current next next that is this 
this comes here and previous next next previous next is now the node that we inserted and its next should be the temp whatever was the next of previous and we are done now we will reset the previous to start so that for the next element again it starts from beginning and not uh, that point onwards finally we need to return uh, this new head which is next of start and let's see if we have done everything correctly so this case seems fine and the solution is accepted and if we look at the time taken it's uh, here 16 millisecond that is we are roughly better than 99 percent of all the submissions so we are in great shape now let's do the same thing in Java and Python. Java solution is also accepted. Finally, we will do it in Python 3.
and the python solution is also accepted